Hi, my name is Everly and I'm five years old. Today, two chefs are going to compete to make my dream dinosaur food. <laughs> Hi, Everly. Hi. I'm Katie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tway. Nice to meet you. I am a content creator and a chef here based in LA. And I'm really excited for my first ever I Draw You Cook. When you see this, what do you think dinosaurs eat? Trees. Trees. Oh. I've lost this show a few times. I, I won once. I'm really glad to be back here. Just like give it another go. I do not cook for kids. I don't really know what they like besides candy and chocolate. Is this a big dinosaur? Is it a baby dinosaur? Baby. Baby. Oh, Baby. Okay. okay, that's good to know about portion control. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling shy. I think Everly's feeling shy. Luckily, Katie's there and she's just holding it together for all of us. What are some of your favorite flavors? White chocolate. White, White chocolate. chocolate. Okay. Do you have a favorite food? Yeah. What? Cherry. 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 Just like a cherry, nor just cherry? Just the fruit? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I love how she just responds with, yes, <laughs> it's just so easy, because that's me too. Do you think th the dinosaurs were picky eaters? Or do you think they eat everything? Eat everything. They eat everything. Are you like a dinosaur, or do you eat everything? Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> what else do you think they eat? Water. So is this like regular water, or is it magical water? Is Magic. It... Oh, magical water. So what does magical water look like? Colorful. What are you drawing now? Rocks. They eat rocks too? Yeah. Are they hard or are they, are they like, you know? Chewy. Well, chewy, okay. Chewy. I like that, I like yeah. these rocks. Chewy, different, different rocks. Yes. Flavored rocks. Yes. Seeing a lot of colors, and I love that. I just don't know how to incorporate that. Does the dinosaur have a name? Katie. Katie the dinosaur. Wow, my <laughs> name. I think that's a great name. I like that name. Everly is so cute. She's like, A, she's adorable, but she's also extremely smart. I'm drawing a yummy rainbow. Oh. Do you know what a rainbow is? A reflection and it has all of the colors. I barely knew that. <laughs> that is gorgeous. This is a very colorful plate. So do you think that we can make this dinosaur food? Yeah. You do? Okay. Twinkle look. Katie, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's, we need that. We're gonna need it. We're here. How are you feeling? I am feeling very confident. How are Great. you feeling? Feeling a little nervous, to be okay. honest. I think Toy being new to the show gives her an advantage because she can like bring in this new energy, this new point of view. My game plan is to make a brownie tree. I'm not really sure what I want the top of it to be yet. Maybe some chocolate covered fruits. So what I'm thinking about making today is a Swiss roll tree that's gonna stand up with these kind of like coral looking like green things on the top to be the top of the tree. So now I'm just gonna separate the egg whites and the egg yolks. Oh! <laughs> I just dropped an egg. I salvaged it though, so that's good. She's a picky eater. It's making me a little nervous about like how adventurous I can get. So I have my brownie mixture here. I added two eggs and I'm about to add some canola oil. My specialty is definitely more on the savory side. So like baking and sweets is just like out of my comfort zone and cooking for kids is way out of my comfort zone. Okay, so now I'm going to mix these eggs with half a cup of powdered sugar until we get some stiff peaks. So my brownie batter is done. Now I got some like dinosaur sprinkles because this is a magical tree. Did you like dinosaurs growing up? Um, I'd never really cared about them. Uh, I used to do Raptor impression when I was- Oh, you have to do it now. I don't- No, you have to do <laughs> it. I'm pressuring you to do it I right do. now. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she kind of scared me. I can't believe I shared that with all of you. So embarrassing. <laughs> so my brownie batter is done. I'm going to be putting this in the oven. So I've got my egg yolks. I'm gonna do a <laughs> teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm gonna do the rest of my powdered sugar. I got my stiff peaks done. How stiff is it? So, so stiff, Tway. <laughs> you have to put it upside down. Over here. It's not that stiff. <laughs> now I need to beat my egg yolks, vanilla, and powdered sugar. I have white chocolate over here. I'm going to melt down to make the top of the tree and add in a food coloring and matcha powder. All right, so I've got cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt, baking powder and baking soda. And now I'm just going to sift in my 
dry ingredients. This chocolate is seizing. I think it's just all in the heat of the moment that I forgot to just make a double boiler for the chocolate. The chocolate is seeming to slow Tway down, which is what I really need right now because I'm very far behind. So right now I'm gonna fold in my egg whites, um, about a third of them into my mixture here. I'm gonna try to make something that I've seen Rie make on Make It Fancy. She made it with Oreos, I'm not making Ooh. it with Oreos. It looks like coral and it's with flour oh, and fun. water, but it, it doesn't have much, I'm gonna do pandan for the color. Pandan is so good. That's a good move, I don't know why I didn't think I about that. Pan and ube, I am not using ube, but Ooh, I love ube. Yeah, I can see that this cake is very, very thin. It's gonna be worried about standing the Swiss roll up. I have my chocolate in here, my water's boiling. Now we're back. That really slowed me down. Let me go bake this. The chocolate is melting really beautifully. Look at that. So now it's time for me to add my matcha. I'm moving on to the filling for my sweet roll, which is some whipped cream, a little bit of sugar, and then I have a secret ingredient. It's a little bit of cherry extract because she said she likes cherries. Oh, I can smell that it's it's a little bit more fake than I'd like. So I've whipped up my whipping cream and I'm gonna add a little marshmallow fluff. I love a marshmallow filling and I feel like it'll make it a little bouncier, so I'm adding that. I'm actually using a skewer to dip my strawberries because my fingernails were just not cutting it. ta -da! <laughs> Yep. The skewer is the way to go. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for now and I'm gonna start prepping for the Swiss roll to come out of the oven. And my strawberries are done. This is a really beautiful treetop. Okay, here we go, here goes nothing. Okay, didn't stick to the pan, thank God. It's a little thinner than I anticipated. I'm going the extra mile to make this component because it's not on the drawing. I am making a, uh, a dinosaur Pop-Tart that's going to live in the dinosaur land. Tway is making something that is not in the drawing and like props to her. I've never thought about doing that and I should I should have. This is just store-bought puff pastry, nothing special. But what's going to make it really special are these dinosaur shapes that's going to make the dinosaur pop tart. So I need two cutouts per dinosaur so then it can fold on top of each other. The cake is sticking to the parchment, which we don't want, so I'm losing parts of my cake. We lost a corner of the cake. That's all right. So now this is gonna go into the fridge to set. So I have some strawberry jam here that I will be putting in between. It really could go both ways because she could be like, I didn't ask for a dinosaur. Or she could be like, wow, this is really cute. I appreciate you adding this dinosaur. So I don't know. I am now gonna move on to my treetop. It's just flower, water, and pandan. It's something I've never done before. Something I saw Rie do on Make It Fancy. Oh yeah. Yes, and it looks like coral. I'm brushing my Pop-Tart with a little bit of egg wash. They look so cute. So I'm gonna use a fork to close off the edges of the Pop-Tart. I don't know what it is about those fork marks, but it just kind of makes it look more official. That guy is really cute. I am only picking one perfect dinosaur it's an for my play. <laughs> yes, this is an audition. <laughs> Whichever one turns out the best will up here on the plate. My money is on the um, the long neck, what's he called? A brontosaurus. A what? A brontosaurus? Yeah. Yes. My money is on the brontosaurus. <laughs> These dinosaurs are ready to come alive. Here I go, here I go. I see holes. I'd like to see a few holes. <laughs> it's time to make our magical rainbow. I saw this video on TikTok where this girl made sour straws from rice paper and I thought that was really cool and this is the perfect time to test that out. I'm making a combination, like a mixture of sugar and citric acid right here. Where she wets the rice paper with water and lime juice. I'm not sure why the lime juice, maybe to make it even more sour. I have a whole bunch of different colored fruits here and I'm going to roll it up. I've never done it before. So, things could go wrong. Oh, hey. <gasps> okay. okay. Dang, that looks good. This is a thick, sour straw. 
Those sour straws are cool looking. I should have gone on TikTok. I'm gonna start cutting up some fruit while this works. This is gonna be the rocks. And then I have a dragon fruit here that is red. And I'm just gonna use these like tiny little cookie cutters to cut different shapes into the dragon fruit. Now I'm gonna cut kiwi for the green rocks. And then I'll do blueberries and blackberries. Are you gonna cut up the blueberries <laughs> I know. Can you imagine me like cutting like even smaller blueberries? I hope Everly appreciates these and it's not too weird for her. I love sour stuff, but I don't know if Everly likes it sour. So I'm gonna be making a rainbow waffle. Again, another thing I haven't made before. <laughs> so I'm just using like a regular waffle box mix. I'm not going fancy here. Are you very competitive? I feel that you are. As an Aries, yes, I am very competitive. I'm a Pisces, so we're very sensitive oh, wow. and cryy. And <laughs> <laughs> but very creative. So I'm just gonna take my waffle batter and divide it up between six bowls to get some different colors of the rainbow. My rainbow's done, and when I saw Everly draw the rocks, my first thought was chocolate rocks. It looks like rocks, and they are also colorful, like her magical rocks. Well, I have moved all my batter to bags, and I've got my waffle maker heating up here. So basically, I'm just doing circles of colors. This waffle is a mess right now. We're just gonna see when I open it up if it's, it's okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> With the rocks, I'm going to crush up some cookies to make like dirt so it's like realistic. <gasps> that looks so real. All right, moment of truth. Oh! <laughs> it looks that so looks better so good. Than I thought it was going to. I'm so relieved. Yay. I'm gonna unroll my Swiss roll and then I'm gonna add some filling. It's really good. I mean, it's like a little soggy. <laughs> But it's, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> that tree is not gonna stand, <laughs> Katie. I am now moving on to the magical river. So I'm gonna take some yogurt and flavor it with different like dragon fruit and um, acai, acai, acai. 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 <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna flavor my yogurt with different colors and then I'm gonna put Pop Rocks Ooh, on it when I assemble. Ooh, Pop Rocks. Kids love Pop Rocks. Right, uh, do they? Uh, what if she's like afraid? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> true. I do worry like how mature Everly's like taste buds are. But if she likes your sour rainbow, she'll probably like some ta tart yogurt. Hopefully. I'm making this river and I'm tasting the yogurt and I love Greek yogurt, but I'm starting to think like as a kid, did I like Greek yogurt? No. I think I'm gonna add a little honey to sweeten this up just a tiny bit. Added some like dehydrated strawberries to get this kind of red. And I'm almost done. I am going to be making shaved ice over here. I will be flavoring it with different flavors and colors of syrup. So this is vanilla syrup with strawberry extract. Magical. And then this is grape syrup. Grapes. Oh, this grape syrup is kind of dark. Oh, I Whoa. love the red. Now, why couldn't the grape be like that? Then we have blue raspberry. Beautiful river. I have to go run and put this in the freezer and then cut my tree. My magical river components are done and I think we're getting really close. Let's go. Let's do it. This could be a win if I pull this off, but if it just all melts together, Sorry, Everly. So all of my components are here. My magical pond is in the freezer right now. And then I also have my little dinosaurs. Who won the audition? It's between these two. I think this guy is going to fit on my plate better because this is kind of big. He's he's a bigger boy. So. I was rooting for the brontosaurus, yeah. so. Yes! You won American Idol. American <laughs> Dino. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This is kind of the moment of truth. Like if things are gonna stand, are they gonna fall? So what I'm hoping to do is use some melted chocolate as a glue to help that tree really stay in place. What am I trying to do here? <laughs> <laughs> it's just breaking under the weight of the expectations that I put up on it. <laughs> it's not exactly how I pictured it, but you know, sometimes you just have to accept what you have. My tree is going to have a little bend in it because this is a round plate. We're gonna try to decorate it now with some frosting, some chocolate frosting. And then I'm just scooping some chocolate rocks and the dirt. I really love the look of my dirt and my rocks because it looks real. What if she doesn't even want to eat it? because it looks too real. You know, this treetop just 
looked better in my head than on the plate right now. I'm trying to find the perfect placement for this dinosaur. I think that might be it. <laughs> Looks great. I'm struggling to way. So we're plating and I'm looking over at Katie and her tree is just falling apart. It's like, it just looks like poo. <laughs> So I'm gonna just lay it flat. We're gonna go 2D. I'm pretty sad that the tree is what it is. <laughs> Thank God I have more tree left. It's actually still very 3D. Thank you, thanks. Toy, Toy is so positive. I'm behind at this point and Toy is just staring at me and I'm feeling so much pressure right now. We've got the magical river. Okay, these are blue pop rocks. I've got rocks and we've got the rainbow coming out of the tree. And now for my magical river. Ta-da! Oh my God, yours looks really good. <laughs> yours look exactly like the picture, so I'm oh. kind of afraid. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be good. Woo! Let's go. I really like how my dish turned out. So I think Everly's really gonna like the tree because she said she loves chocolate, fruit rocks, a yogurt river with pop rocks. I really love how the rainbow waffle turned out though. I'm feeling very confident about that. It's not exactly what I envisioned in my head, but overall I think it came together and it looks a lot like the photo. I'm done with my dish and by looking at my dish, it has all the components that is in the drawing, a brownie tree, some chocolate covered fruits, crumbled up cookies, shaved ice for the magical river, and then DIY fruit straws. Visually, I'm not that pleased with it. I really love my dinosaur though. That guy is cute. Bring in my favorite dinosaur food. Look, they're really yummy. That looks like the tree from my drawing. These look like the rocks I drew. The river looks very magical. I want to try the tree first. Fingers crossed. This tastes is really yummy. Great. I want to try the rainbow now. Yummy. It tastes like strawberry. She's only taking like one bite of everything. Good. She's giving me vague responses. Good. So I couldn't really read if she really liked something or if she didn't. I really, do you know what your favorite part is? The magical river is my favorite part. I'm a little worried. It looks delish. Can you show me what you recognize? The tree, the rainbow, the river, and the rocks. She can see the drawing on my plate. My plate is the drawing. This is good. It tasted great. I like the chocolate tree. Seems like she likes it. It tasted sour. You like sour fruit? Not really. Oh, it's sour. She doesn't like sour. The river. Um, it tasted sour. The river is sour. I knew it was gonna be sour. I knew it was gonna be tart. It is not magical, it is sour. This is bad, this is very bad. Fruit. Sweet. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. She was saying she liked the fruit and then she pushed it off her fork. My favorite part of this dish is the waffle. Right now I think it's anyone's game. Let's bring in the chef. Did you have fun eating all that food? Yeah. So which one was your favorite? The first one or the second one? First. <gasps> Yay! It was Tway. <laughs> Toy, here's your prize. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to hang this up in my new place. I'm happy for Toy. I'm crying deep inside for myself. First ever win on I Draw You Cook, so bring on the competition. Ah!